you also need to compile the source code. So if you don't have a good CPU, I would not recommend using Gen 2. Now, some people do use Gen 2 on a PS2. It can be done. But unless you have nothing to do with your life, it's not the best option. I'm Imelo, and uh, this is my story. How I got Gen 2 running on the PS2. So obviously, it wasn't all my work. Obviously, I'm building off the work of giants, or like um, Throne 7 that got the modern kernel working on the PS2 again with the community's help, and obviously the Gen 2 devs that taught me what I was doing to fix all the mistakes that I was making along the ways. And yeah, that led to us getting Gen 2 working, and that's modern Gen 2 working on the PS2. Obviously, uh, people always ask me why I do it, and the reasons. You know, it's as always a challenge. See if it's possible to do it, and obviously, it is. Uh, this then led me on to looking at getting the muscle library working on on MIPS, which was pretty broken on Gen 2 at the time. And um, now that's also in a very good shape. And Gen 2 actually officially does stage freeze, um, so anyone can now jump into muscle on um, MIPS. So that's kind of what I got out of this. It's um, doing something stupid, seeing if it's possible, and then trying to fix the greater project at the same time. So what's the plans next for this? Well, I need to actually release a muscle build of this system, but there's so much going on at the moment, I haven't had time to um, look into it any further, even though it is going slowly. Um, I did spend a bit of time, obviously, as I said before, getting stage freeze built, and then proving it that Gen 2 could actually use them. I'd also like to create a binary host, so basically people don't need to compile on the PS2 anymore. I want to compile DHCP CD on the PS2. It takes about five seconds on a Skylake processor from 2017. Uh, on the PlayStation 2, in the current state, it takes 10 hours to compile. So yeah, yeah, you don't want to be compiling on these things. So yeah, the binary host is definitely a big plan for me next to get done and hosted. Um, and then look at things like X, um, installing directly to the hard drive, which I believe has been added to the kernel now. So things are looking good. And then hopefully the Grandmaster plan will be to actually have an official image on the Gen 2 site to just install directly onto your PS2. It's nearly there now. It's just a little bit of middle work to do to get that all the way done. So, what have I actually been using Gen 2 PS2 for? Well, I've been playing a lot of Pope, which is basically a Pokemon clone that works on the terminal. If you haven't played it, you should definitely give it a go. It's uh, rather fun and uh, even works on a 294 megahertz MIPS processor from 1999. I'm sure anyone's potato PC could actually run this one. But yeah, basically, that's uh, that's the state of uh, Gen 2 PS2 at the moment and where it is. I hope this gives you curiosity to get Gen 2 or Linux running on a device that's never run it before. Let's see, uh, see how far you can go with it. Good luck and uh, let me know where you get. See you on the next one.